It is 8.20, welcome back in. It is time for our Ask the uh, Pet Doctor question segment. Hey, good to see you, this Dr. Good Jerome, morning. Jerome, Jerome Williams with uh, Jillian this morning. Yes. Yeah, get moving. And we had a lot of people submit some questions on Facebook. I don't know if we're gonna get to all of them, we're gonna try, so we'll jump right in okay, here. Okay, let's all do right, it. So Michelle McCluskey has a dog that has eaten a couple of pairs of socks in the past few days, bless his heart. Uh, she eats and uses the, the bathroom with no problems. Is there anything she needs to look out for, though? As long as she's eating and having bowel movements, she may be okay. That smell, though, does concern me. Okay. So she might want to give something like Metamucil or even Micromagnesia to try to help move that stuff on out if she begins to not have bowel movements and okay. begins to, to uh, throwing up, mm -hmm. uh, we may have a blockage problem. Okay, all right. Now, Rich and Pam uh, Pritchett, they want to know if there are any holistic clinics, <coughs> excuse me, in Alabama. One of their dogs is very allergic to rabies vaccination, so they refuse to give him another one, but uh, they need him to get neutered. So what are their options possible? Well, I want to think about, about vaccines. There are many different manufacturers. The reaction problem was due to that particular manufacturer's vaccine. Okay. So it's going to be important to get a rabies vaccine to find out what manufacturer was used, the dog can be monitored, given Benadryl, and given the vaccine it needs. Now, most of the clinics around can do the neutering. There is a holistic clinic in Alabama, Dr. Battistella, okay. down in uh, Kalaja, okay. down in Lake Martin. Right. Uh, she does holistic medicine. Okay. But, but if you're trying to get rabies vaccinations, holistic won't be able to help you? No, no, no. Okay, no, no, all no. right. All right, so Kristen West Lawrence, uh, she wonders what age is too young to have a female dog fixed. She's got a seven-month-old uh, Minninger Dotson, wants to, to have her fixed. At that age, is a perfect time, in my opinion. You don't need to wait for the first heat. Okay. You can go ahead at this time and get her neutered. There's controversy as to what's the youngest it should be done. Mm -hmm. I like around this age, around okay. five to seven months of age. All right. Earl Humphrey uh, comments, he wants to know if his, dog, uh, if his dog runs away, can you have your pets fix with something in them that will tell them who he belongs to, like I guess like a microchip? Micro and, and is it expensive? Uh, microchip probably is going to run 50 to $70, somewhere in that area. Okay. Uh, a client was seeing recently with a, a device, I think it was on the collar, that they can know where the dog is. Hunters use something as well, mm -hmm. where they can know where the dog is. Those, those I, don't, I don't know how costly they are, right. but okay. there are devices out there that can help you identify the dog. Might be something you can Google and search on that one in terms of the cost. Yes. Uh, Angie Nash Rapper asks, when cutting your dog's nails, what should we look for as to how far down to cut? Because you know sometimes they can, they can be painful and they can bleed if you do it too far, right? Yes, yes. If you look at the nails and do the nails, as you cut a little at a time, you'll see a little uh, circle, a little uh, circular area. Uh -huh. When you get to that, you're getting to the quick. And don't go beyond that. When you, when you begin to it's see- A circle area underneath. A circle area, yes. Uh, underneath, that, okay. Exactly, exactly. Okay, all right. And, and uh, you should be able to, to cut them safely. All right, all right, Patty Lindsay Goldsby wants to know, when, you, uh, when you should you start worrying about growing pains in a fast growing breed? She's got a German uh, short-haired pointer been diagnosed as having them in his front shoulder, growing pains. Feeding a good balanced dog food, a good quality dog food, you can always supplement that with vitamin uh, D mm -hmm. and calcium. Okay. Uh, doing that, we'd be on the safe side, get a good uh, quality vitamin, mm -hmm. and then go with vitamins D and calcium as well. All right, all right, Jordan Car uh, Carter rather uh, says, uh, her, her, my fur baby is six years old, What's the best way to train him to stop? I, I think that's barking inside. Uh, how to barking. get him to mind when I tell him to stop? He, so he's barking a lot. So how do you okay. how do you control the barking? That's a challenge. Yeah, I was <laughs> that's say. a challenge. You got, with a firm no, mm -hmm. and you can hold the mouth when he's when he's barking excessively. Hold the the mouth with a with a firm no mm -hmm. until uh, they give, and that's one of the the best ways I know to do it. I, you know, beyond that, I I don't have a good answer for it. Okay. I'm sorry, you said, oh, you, my producer marking. said maybe meant marking, so like that's marking like an peeing. area. Okay, so peeing in the house, I apologize. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's another training mechanism. Yeah. You're gonna have to uh, use some discipline to do that. You know, the same thing. You're gonna have to catch him in the act, have him stop, and then keep him crated. Mm -hmm. Let him understand that that's not acceptable. Yeah, and they, if you're consistent with it, they, 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 after a while they do get they it. They do get better. Okay. And, and get some of those products that you can use to get rid of the urine odor, the mm. scent. They may be going back to the oh, same place. Once they find that spot. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Randy Kay wants to know if there are any over-the-counter treatments for arthritis in dogs. Yes, uh, vitamin E and selenium in that combination mm -hmm. is, a, is a great way to go. Vitamin E and selenium. You can find the, the uh, tablets 
in health food stores and in some drug stores. Okay. Uh, and also glucosamine. Those are great products that are safe for older dogs. All right, Venus, tell us, ask us if it's okay to bathe a dog with human shampoo. Yes, it is. It, it's, uh, it's no problem at all. Okay. I recommend baby shampoo because it's mild and it won't remove as much of the oil from the, from the skin. Okay. But uh, by and large, human shampoo is okay. All right, Jan Arledge Leatherman says her 10-year-old Cocker Spaniel's appetite is off. Uh, should she take it to a, a veterinarian or, you know, he says apparently um, he prefers to fork, she prefers to fork feed him. How about that? That's her baby. Uh, otherwise, it's the same. He goes out in the yard, jumps on furniture. <laughs> if the appetite's off, mm -hmm. then I suggest it be seen by a veterinarian. You can continue to fork feed it, but if something is going on, it's going to continue to go on. It may even get worse. Okay. So if the only way he's going to eat is by fork feeding, and that's not been the pattern in the past, then I said, get him in and have him see you. Jan, I hope that helps. Also, uh, Dawn Volka, she uh, says she's got a cat that likes to use her claws on everything. Uh, I don't believe in declawing, so what should she do? Uh, there, are another, there are two other things you can do. Keep the claws clipped on a regular basis. That's going to mean about once a month. Okay. Or there are some devices you can put glue that you can put on the, the claws mm -hmm. that'll make them where they can't penetrate. Right. Uh, I don't remember the name of it right now, but you can. Has you, it been your experience with some of the, the scratching boards, some of those products out there, the seen on TV products, do they, do they work? Yes, if you can get the okay. cat uh, okay. to understand that's what they're there for. Because okay. rather, rather than using your, your sofa yeah. arm and stuff, <laughs> they can understand those devices are meant for that. So yeah, I certainly would try those. Okay. And diff different types, cardboard to fabrics. Mm -hmm. See which one they may, may be attracted to. Yeah, prefer the, preferring that over the leather. So the so, so would be good. All right, Joyce Marie Green says her baby is a 15 and won't eat her glucosamine except uh, for every now and then help. What should she do? Now, you can get some of these things in powder form to add to the food. We have a product that we compound that has glucosamine in it. Mm -hmm. It's in powder form with a fish base. Uh, yeah. So, you know, uh, all the, and you can crumble the peel up, put it in uh, cheese or or any other kind of thing that the pet would eat, would okay. like. Right. But using those kind of things, would, that's a cute baby too. Yeah, it is indeed. <laughs> All right, well thank y'all so much for commenting on my page and sending those questions in. And we appreciate Dr. Williams with the Red Mountain Animal Clinic as always, appreciate it. Okay. You too, Jillian. It's National Compliment Day. You look great today, just wanted you to know that. All right, it's 827. <laughs>